Hey, it's Natasha with soulbynat.com, associate broker with Virtual Properties Realty. Today is actually a Sunday. It is 4.44 p.m. I'm getting a call. I'll be back. Okay, I am back. So let, let me first tell you. So hey, we are headed to Newberry Place. It is Sunday, I just left the office and we're headed to Newberry Place to, we gonna pull up on them and find out. What, like what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Like I had somebody waiting on the waiting list and it was initially, it was supposed to be June, July they released. We're now in September and now it's supposed to be, they're about to release for homes to be ready in November. Uh, and I just got off another call with somebody that has been waiting and is ready to go But communicating with the agents and it's not just one agent It's just communicating with them Whether by phone text or email is just not the best with, with any of the agents over there So we gonna pull up. We are pulling up on them to see what is going on And hopefully my pull up will be effective. <laughs> so that's what we're doing and actually the call just sharing the call that came in was an agent that did held uh, an open house for a new listing that I, I have. And if you haven't seen that video, I will put it here. By the time you probably see this, it'll be gone under contract, it might be closed. But I appreciate uh, the agent and, and the team that held the open house this weekend. I, you know, I just appreciate the collab because it was a win-win for everybody involved. The, the house was marketed for the sellers. They're happy with that. It freed me up to do work because I worked all weekend. I was at the office all weekend. Uh, well, not all, yeah, kind of all weekend. And then those agents uh, got good contacts that will either be buying this house or another house. Maybe if they're not ready now, they may be ready later. So let that be nuggets for you, man. Like, there's enough to go around. There's enough to go around and work smarter and not harder. So yeah, let's go. Let's go Newberry Place, Starlight Homes. We're in Loganville, Georgia. Um, sitting at the light on 78 and Rosebud right now. We're gonna go see what's going on. It's, it's actually 4.52 and I'm hoping, I'm not sure exactly what time they close. They may be open to six on the weekend. So let's see what's going on. And just FYI, I don't always work the weekends like this. Normally it's by, you know, appointment or so. But this weekend I worked work, like work, work. But it is a holiday weekend uh, because tomorrow is Labor Day. So, so yeah, let's go see what we find out. Okay, so we're out here in the second phase. Let's take a look. They have a lot to build in phase two. Phase two looks bigger than phase one to me. So that's a very good sign. All right, so my pull up was a fail. It was a fail. 
because there's nobody at the sales office it was i got there before five and on saturday normally they sit on site until five six so either they left early or they just aren't coming in because they don't have anything to sell so thankfully i'm close so i'm gonna try this week i'll try it almost i'll try every day well tomorrow's a holiday so let's just say they're not coming in because it's a holiday i'll try tuesday there are some But there are some companies that are, because of COVID or inventory or whatever, they're doing like limited days. So they're only doing like Monday to Wednesday and then the weekend, or they're doing like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then the weekend, or, you know, it's just limited hours. So I'm going to try different days and see if I can catch somebody because honestly communicating with them via phone email and text is not very effective I'm not the only one that says that different clients have tried to reach out and you get vague responses and I get if they're getting vague responses from you know their uppers or the county or whatever i get it but they could communicate better and it it's not starlight i'm not going to put that on starlight because uh, i just closed one um in monroe with creekside and they communicate good like they communicate good um and then i have another one under contract they're communicating good so i'm not even putting that on the company so like newberry if y'all are watching y'all y'all need to do better like communicate a little better i'm sure you guys are getting y'all are probably so annoyed that's probably why they're not communicating they are probably so frustrated and just bombarded with all of the calls and the inquiries with people that are interested in getting in this community you know what i answered my own question that's what it is guys that is what it is they are so bombarded with inquiries that they probably given up on customer service <laughs> i don't know that's that's all i can say but like the people that i'm communicating with like they're approved with their preferred lender they've been on the list so i don't know but the plus is there's a lot of homes there's a lot of homes in here so yeah i'm gonna come back and i'll be coming back to you guys and hopefully i can get you guys some some info all right so hopefully I'll be back. Hopefully this will not be the end of the video. In case this is the end of the video, um, I'll go ahead and sign out and stay tuned for another video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are doing well. Have a positive, peaceful, and productive day. And I appreciate you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, reaching out, all of that goodness. All right, talk to you guys soon. I did the whole sign out and then remembered a couple things. FYI, Starlight is the lowest price new construction builder uh, in Gwinnett County, Newberry, um, Newberry Place. They are not doing bidding, so that makes it really attractive. So that's why a lot of people are interested in this um, community. And so that's FYI. I know when I drove in, I mentioned something about street parking. I'm, noticing a lot of people parking on the street not positive about their hoas but a lot of hoas um don't you know they they say you know street parking isn't allowed but the community is still building up so they probably haven't gotten their hoa formed uh and if that's if you're moving in this community and that's something that you want to not happen join the hoa uh what else mm, i think that's it so let's go ahead and um drive out
hope somebody has an appreciation that I record these videos and will be able to compare it years down the line. Um, seeing these empty lots and then seeing homes go up. I think that would be neat. I know for a while they were waiting on permits. When I closed about two weeks ago, today is September 5th. We closed on August 26th. The construction manager out in Monroe said, you know, Newberry just got their permit, so they should be starting to build soon. And I was like, yes. And the word going out was that they were gonna start building for homes to be ready in November. And look, they have a couple of lots. Oh shoot. Okay. Um, so yay. definitely signing out here. Have a positive, peaceful, and productive day. I should be back to you guys. If not, stay tuned for another Signing out now.